eight years ago, there were articles like this saying, it's crazy, it's impossible for Tesla to make half a million cars by 2020. They impossible. did it. Impossible. Yeah. Impossible. Today, the same thing seems to be playing out. It's impossible for Tesla to make 20 million cars by 2030. You just released the video less than an hour ago, building a case that 20 million is not far off. In fact, we're already locked in at around 10 million today with the existing footprints. History doesn't repeat itself all the time, but it rhymes. What do you think is going on in the minds of Tesla employees right now? I think probably something very similar than what was going through their minds 10 years ago. You know, it's like, hey, we have these very ambitious goals in front of us. People are doubting it. People don't believe that we're going to get there. It's going to take a massive amount of work, but we're going to get it done because we're a bunch of badasses. And what I find very interesting is that I don't know, you know, you would think people would learn. Uh, you would think people would learn from, you know, to your point, history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. But Tesla has the same CEO and leader in Elon Musk, but it has a stronger team since 10 years ago and 15 or five, six, seven years ago or whatever. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't they be able to achieve this goal? You know, and I think that's, that's the way I approach it. I think maybe folks do the other way where they're like, why should they, why would they be able to achieve this goal? I tend to take it the other way. It's like, I understand the core competencies of the company. Why wouldn't they? There's too much stuff here. That's rhyming to your point. Too much stuff here that rhymes, too much stuff here that's set up for them to achieve this. It's just a question of execution. Mm. And what is Tesla extremely good at from the standpoint of uh, scaling products and going from a very small number to a big number? Execution. So how is this any different? I do, and that's why I can't get my head wrapped around it. Mm. And maybe that's like a natural bias I have that doesn't allow me to do it. But to me, it's just it's very obvious is that they've done it before. They have a stronger team. They have more knowledge. They figured out how to make it so that they can do more with less in a smaller footprint with less parts in a brand new way that no one else is doing with more talent. And they can use processes they've already built out. And they, uh, they're leveraging their relationships in a supply chain that they never were able to tap in the way they have now. They can leverage the tier one suppliers in a way they've never had before. They can leverage governments in a way they never had before. Guys, like, why wouldn't they be able to do that? They didn't do it. They did it in 2020 without that kind of insane help. And yeah. now they're surrounding themselves with that skill set and knowledge and know how you tell me they can't do it again. Come on. So that's that's where I come from. And again, this is kind of a might be a little arrogant and a little like biased, but that's how I feel. And, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is what it is. But that's how I feel. As an outsider, the way I see it is. The last time this happened in Tesla, the half million cars impossible by 2020, Tesla was loss making. Today, Tesla is one of the most profitable companies in the industry. You got it. Today, Tesla has executives or leaders or production line crew, software engineers who's been through original production hell. So they're probably looking at this and going, no, nah, it's okay. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And the point you made about profitability, bro, like, they're, they did it from a standpoint of not being profitable. They got to half a million by 2020. And they're mm -hmm. to your point, like this is such a brilliant point. They're profitable and they have a ton of cash and they have no debt and they have the same leadership with more experience and they have Elon Musk and they have all these relationships. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doubt them. Go ahead. Doubt them. See how that plays out. <laughs>